Hey you guys, it's P and today we're going to be talking all about Mercury and Sagittarius, baby. Having a Mercury and Sagittarius is literally like having no filter. Literally having no filter because you know Mercury is the planet of communication and information and how you process information. So when you have your Mercury here, Sagittarius is super blunt. Sagittarius is super honest. Okay. Say if you have a um, Mercury and Sagittarius homegirl and y'all are trying out clothes at a store. So the Mercury and Sagittarius response is not going to be like everybody else's response. So say if you're trying on an outfit and you extra Mercury and Sagittarius friend, how does this color look on me? So yes, Mercury and Sagittarius friend is not going to just say, oh, that looks great. No, they're going to say what they think about that color on you. So the Mercury and Sagittarius is most likely going to say, well, the color is nice, but it doesn't fit your personality. Like, they can come off super rude to a lot of people. But really, a Mercury and Sagittarius is giving you a compliment because she's saying that your personality is bum and that color, you know, it don't fit you. The Mercury and Sagittarius is going to be very specific about what they say because they're saying like what they're like literally thinking at that moment. Like when a Mercury and Sagittarius speak, it is not, they're not filtering out anything. It's like, they say what they feel like immediately whether that's good or bad but to them they don't see it that way when the mercury and sagittarius is saying exactly what they feel they can come off as very philosophical because when the mercury and sagittarius friend says the color is nice but it don't fit your personality it can come off as rude, like your. It can come off as if your personality is whack as hell. But really, the Mercury and Sagittarius is saying that color is whack as hell compared to you. And so this can be like this, can, especially if if the Mercury and Sagittarius has a moon in Sagittarius as well, because your emotions can be linked to what you say, and Mercury is what you say. So, like. <laughs> At the same time that the Mercury and Sagittarius is like being honest and being truthful because like to them like being honest, honesty is the best policy. Like no, like you, you can't be like a liar like and they can't be a liar. Like it's hard. It's very hard for a Mercury and Sagittarius to, to lie or to be this honest. And if they do, it's like it don't even feel right because it's not natural for for mercury and sagittarius to lie i find this like quite hilarious because <laughs> a lot of times like the sagittarius they don't know when they're like offending people like we 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 don't know when we're offending we're offending people the Sa mercury and sagittarius have a hard time seeing when they are offending people because they trust their honesty and they feel like honesty is the best policy when someone is being honest and truthful with the mercury and sagittarius the mercury and sagittarius especially if they have moon and sagittarius as well the mercury and sagittarius is going to be like they ain't going to be able to believe that this person is being rude or so blunt with them and so this is when the the mercury and sagittarius has to take a step back and do some shadow work and some mirror work and realize how they can come out to other people like we come off rude in a mother you know what i'm saying rude just straight off rude but we don't know that because especially if you have a moon in sagittarius as well like the things that that a moon in sagittarius or a merc the mercury in sagittarius will say is strictly from a kind and loving place you guys like it's from a kind and loving place in the same token while the mercury in sagittarius is realizing that they can come off as rude or too blunt you know hurting feelings and stuff they also know that they can't always worry about what people think because this is this is mercury and sagittarius being themselves so yes it's good for them to step back and pull away and see that okay oh i sounded rude like i shouldn't have said that like i could i could have worded that a better a better way 
because you gotta remember it Sagittarius is fire you know it's quick you know it, it's it's mutable it, it's jumping all over the place so when they are communicating that's kind of how they communicate in that same way like a forest fire is can get their feelings hurt by someone treating them the same way that they were treated the thing about it is this can make them come off as hypocrites when that's not really the case because a lot of times mercury and sagittarius this is like what they believe so in order for the mercury and sagittarius to grow is to learn how to be more considerate of the other person's feelings when they speak like mercury and sagittarius have to learn there is better ways to communicate but it's in their natural it's very natural for them to be honest and blunt so you don't ever have to worry about the mercury and sagittarius you know lying to you being a liar because that's something that they despise with the mercury and sagittarius there's no in between like there's no in the middle none of that it's either like right or wrong black or white true or false and a lot of times they are like this because they have gone through things and they base their truths off of their experience remember the sagittarian is a truth seeker but they're also going to express this because mercury is communication and they're going to express this and they're going to express what they feel like is right or wrong true or false black or white mercury and sagittarius can come off as being like negative or rude but then on the other hand the mercury and sagittarius can come off being positive and confident because some people may see it as you know gosh like she didn't even have to say that he didn't even have to say that but some people might be like okay she know what she talking about he know what he talking about and i trust their confidence you know it can come off either way and just like the way the mercury and sagittarius don't really see uh no in between like people will see them as that way it's either people really 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 like the mercury and sagittarius or they just can't stand the mercury and sagittarius there's no in between with that is the mercury and sagittarius can seem like super stubborn because the mercury and sagittarius they trust their beliefs they trust their truths why because they have experienced things and they base a lot of their truths and their honesty off of their experience and there's no denying experience what a mercury and sagittarius goes through no one can take that away from them so this is why they can come off as stubborn in what they think and what they believe because a lot of times what they believe and what they feel and what they say comes from things that they've actually gone through and been through and that's why the mercury and sagittarius the sagittarius period are the teachers of the zodiac this is why mercury and sagittarius is very honest and truthful because they are true seekers naturally in their nature to be truthful and they also expect this from others but this is where the mercury and sagittarius can be let down because not everyone is going to be honest and truthful with the mercury and sagittarius like they are with others they expect others to be honest and truthful with them even if it hurts because they cannot stand to be lied to the mercury and sagittarius does not trust anyone who cannot be honest if you break the trust of a mercury and sagittarius because they take pride in their honesty like they mercury and sagittarius they are known for their honesty they are known for being truthful they are known for being all these things so if you take advantage of a mercury and sagittarius this is when you can find that the mercury and sagittarius stops being so honest with you and they are really good with words they are very philosophical they are very great with with how to place their words they are very intelligent very very mercury and sagittarius are very intelligent people so if you play with them if you play with words with them if you're not honest with them this is when you can find that the mercury and sagittarius will stop being honest honest with you so it's definitely best to just keep it 100 with your mercury and sagittarius person because it will really really crush them if you're not honest with them because they take pride in their honesty and that's who they are they are honest people 
So don't don't play with a Mercury and Sagittarius because they will bluntly put you on blast. Bluntly, honestly, openly put you on blast because that is very hurtful for them. Mercury and Sagittarius is super optimistic, super optimistic. And sometimes this can be negative, but it can also be positive. Being optimistic and saying optimistic things is a part of the Mercury and Sagittarius nature. With the Mercury and Sagittarius being so optimistic, it can be like, it can be, it could be a homeless man on side of the road asking for change because he just lost his job. And so somebody else will probably say, oh, um, I'm going to give him this change or whatever. And hopefully, you know, he find his way. But the Mercury and Sagittarius, because of their optimism, it can come off at the wrong time for some people. But for the Mercury and Sagittarius, they can say something along the lines of his spiritual journey needed for him to go and be in this situation so that he can see outside of himself or see outside of the circumstances you know to reach his strongest spiritual self and now that i think about it <laughs> i'm trying not to laugh but like seriously like now that i think about it as a, as someone with mercury and sagittarius like i see i see the philosophy like i see the bigger picture but if i was a more sensitive person like like super super sensitive like emotionally that would come off as if, like, I don't give a damn. Like, I don't give a damn about his circumstances. Like, it could come off as that. But the thing about Mercury and Sagittarius, the thing about people, especially with Merc Mercury and Sagittarius, but also with a Sagittarius moon, is that we see the good in things. Like, we have a tendency to see the good in things no matter how terrible they look. And that can come off as if, that can come off as if we, like, really don't, care like but we do like we care we care we care so much <laughs> you, you will also find a mercury and sagittarius doing what i just did like laughing stuff off because like it's just like the natural optimism of things like if i mess up and say something that's like you know kind of insulting i kind of laugh it off and make another joke out of it and now everybody else is laughing with me about the insult i made on them it's just a win-win for everybody. You know, that's Mercury's and Sagittarius uh, energy. Like, Mercury and Sagittarius can be really funny. Can be in, in the things that they say. Like, the things that we say can just be hilarious. And, like, you won't have a choice but to laugh. You know? Because it's just funny. Coming from a great place. Coming from a, a, a place of kindness and a place of optimism. The Mercury and Sagittarius can see the bigger picture. The Mercury and Sagittarius can see that what you are going through is like so much bigger so because the mercury and sagittarius can see that because of that natural optimism that they have they speak that they verbalize that to other people and so this can be very uplifting like mercury and sagittarius can be very uplifting for those around them because they are optimistic and a lot of people are not and this helps lift them up this puts them in a better mood this helps others see the bigger picture that mercury and sagittarius Sagittarius express it. The same time that the Mercury and Sagittarius is being optimistic, you know, this can cause them to be let down a lot, you know, getting their hopes up so high, you know, because Sagittarius is ruled by planet Jupiter and Jupiter is huge. Jupiter is all about expansion and going past limits. And so Mercury and Sagittarius can get his hopes up, you know, and speak all of this optimism and then get let down when things don't go quite the way that they want them to. And then sometimes they can forget to be optimistic within themselves. But within that very moment, because of their natural optimism, they can they can lose a job and be like, oh, something better coming. And because they believe that and because they express that, they manifest it. And with this natural optimism, the Mercury and Sagittarius can be very lucky, lucky people, especially when they are grounded, when everything is balanced and when they are evolving and when they are evolved, they can become very lucky because their optimism and the things that they say, their honesty can bring them great things and genuine they can they can attract 
genuine people because not everybody is going to to want to deal with the mercury and sagittarius like it takes some someone special to deal with the mercury and sagittarius so they can attract honest people and genuine people into their lives and they can be seen as being super lucky because of this sagittarius stellium i can totally totally understand if school isn't for you you know being free spirited but at the same time a mercury a mercury and sagittarius can receive promotions and uh, great blessings with higher education even if even if they choose to educate themselves to self-educate this can promote them in life and on their life path the mercury and sagittarius is super intelligent they know that there is always more to learn they know that they don't know everything and they are true seekers they are knowledge seekers mercury and sagittarius they also like to share the things that they learn the things that they experience the things that they know that work because they're all about the truth and being honest with others I hope you all enjoyed this video with me. Thank y'all for hanging out and kicking it with your girl. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe because this Mercury and Sagittarius video was off the chain. If you are a Mercury and Sagittarius, comment down below and let me know what you think, boo. Like, I had fun doing this video. I had fun doing this video. And I hope that whoever's watching this, if you have a Mercury and Sagittarius in your life, that maybe you can understand them a little bit more. And if you are Mercury and Sagittarius, hopefully you can understand yourself a little bit more. And also, watch what you say sometimes. But stay you, boo, because you know I'm all about the truth. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe. If you're interested in any of my books, I will have the links down below in the description box. I'll see you all in the next video.